welcome back to my channel uh, to those who don't know me my name is Rodney and then you know I've told I had told myself that I'm going to actually upload like one video a week but with so much scholarship being available I felt that no I had to give her the information so that's why I had to make this video so don't be surprised when you see so many videos in the same week I'm trying to get as much information out there as possible so now and to those who have subscribed thank you so much for subscribing and if you have not hit that subscribe button yet I'm gonna give you three seconds to hit the subscribe button Yes, thank you for subscribing. Let's make this channel grow so that we are able to reach people all over the world in terms of scholarships um, that are available for international students. All right, so now I'm going to share with you guys about um, the, the recent open scholarships um, to study in the United Kingdom through the London School of Hygiene and tropical medicine so i hope this um tutorial is going to help you in terms of seeing this scholarship and understanding them and then eventually making that application i hope it helps you let's do it now all right guys um so in terms of the 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 fundings that are available um you can if you can check here on this table of the scholarships that are available i'm only going to focus for on scholarship for international students um, so we're going to talk about the the Jurun um, NSIC Memorial Scholarship, um, which is which caters for international students, and also the Johnson and Johnson MSc Global Mental Health Scholarship, which also caters for international students. Um, the um, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine Fund Scholarship here, and lastly the GSK Scholarship for Future Health Leaders. So we're going to start with um, the, the, the GSK um, in terms of like what, uh, what is it that is all about. So here they're offering three scholarships um, to support the training and development of the next generation of leaders in global health and strengthen the capacity of health system and health related research in Africa. So the award details here, if you can check, these three scholarships for the 2021 and 2022 academic year, so one year, um, it covers your tuition fees, if you can see. Um, including any monetary field trip fees. So here yeah, they're gonna pay for all your fees um, because um, in terms of international students and home students, which are UK residents, it, the, the fees are different. So they're gonna pay for all your fees, no matter how expensive they are, <laughs> which is, which is the, the beauty about scholarships. And then in addition to that, they are going to pay your, your living allowance, um, which is 17,400 pounds. So if we convert it to South African rents, we'll be talking about roughly 360 something thousand rents um, or more uh, in terms of the living. So this is gonna be divided into 12 months. So you can just convert it to your own currency from whichever country you're coming from. And then um, you'll be able to, to understand um, how much you'll be getting each month. And then in terms of eligibility, um, you must be a national resident of a country in Sub-Saharan Africa. So um, countries in the sub-Saharan, can um, I mean, um, Africa, you, you're going to talk about your Zimbabwe, your Botswana, your Angola, your South Africa, and, 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 and other countries. So you, we can do yourself a favor and just um, Google the sub-Saharan African countries, and then you will see if your country is eligible. And then um, the other thing is that um, intent to return to Sub-Saharan Africa on completion of their MSc year. So most scholarships would want you to give back to your community or to your country um, in a sense that after the, your, your studies, you have to commit to go back to your country in order to um, give back the skills that you have learned from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And then um, you should confirm that they will not otherwise be able to pay for your proposed program of study by submitting supplementary question form. So um, you, you, you need to, to prove that you know you, you will not be able to fund your studies. Um, then uh, your English language requirements, very much important. It's either you're gonna be provide your IELTS or your TEFL or any other um, um, English proficiency test that um, is needed. You should hold a first degree in at either a first or upper second class equivalent level. So remember, guys, that um, you are going to be competing with other students from different countries. We have done exceptionally well. So you should be having your good grades in terms of your honors degrees 
um, to be able to to stand a very very good chance. However, um, even if you 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 have your your first or even a second class um, equivalent degree, you know you should apply because you never know, <laughs> you never know. So you should hold a, hold an offer of admission for 2021-2022 for the LSHTM's 19 um, London based MSc program of study. So so here um, you, there are steps on how to apply, uh, which is. Um, in step number one, you need to submit an application for the programs. So, so now remember here, yeah, there are programs that they gonna be funding. For example, if you can check these programs here, you have your MSc in clinical trials by distance learning, your MSc um, control of disease, and all these MECs that are here, which you'll have to choose one when you make your application. Um, so you can still um, read on that one on the, the proposed study. Um, because I mean the email, the the I mean the address is here. Um, your www.lshtm. I'm also even gonna put it on the on the description box. So don't worry about this. So you will be able to click and apply. So make sure you make an application first um, before you apply for the scholarship. So in terms of the scholarship, you're going to click here on submit online scholarship and then they're going to verify your your email address so that you you proceed with the process of applying um so that is um what you need to know about the gsk um scholarship for future leaders so i would advise that you know you you apply for all these um scholarships right so secondly um you have your johnson and johnson there you there we are Johnson and Johnson Global Mental Health Scholarship. Um, so here also, you it's, it's more or less the same um, uh, what the same process, um, just like the previous one, um, where in uh, what did the award itself? It it covers your tuition fees at the King's College London KCL. So here you are going to study at the KCL, and then you should be accepted for this program, the Missy in Global Mental Health Program. So this is a specific program that they want you to, to, to be studying towards. And then um, your stipend living allowance, there it is, man, this is good money, good money. Uh, living allowance, good money. And it's tax-free, man, it's good money. So you should make sure that you apply. And an allowance of um, 500 um, pounds uh, for the MSc project expenses. So if there are other expenses that you will need to incur in terms of your, your project, so they will also grant you that amount. And then the eligibility for funding applicants must be nationals of immigrant residents in one of the following countries. So in Africa, you should be either from Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, or South Africa. And then in Southeast Asia, from Indonesia, um, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam, and South America, Nicaragua, and Peru. So you should be from one of those countries. And it put, the, the list cannot be changed, meaning that you cannot go and say, no, I'm from this country. Like, no, no, so these are the countries that will be funded. And then um, the closing date, uh, which is very much important. Um, let's go down, let's go down, let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. And then um, so for admission at the... Um, King's College London, it's 14 February, Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, so this is the, the closing date because you have to apply for admission first and thereafter you'll be able to apply for the scholarship. So the scholarship is closing on 21st March, 2021. And then, so they also give you information about the shortlisting, which will be done on the 26th of April, 2021, your interviews, the first half of May, and also the issue of the English test. So English tests, um, have, there's a video that I've done on ILETS, which is the International English Language Testing System, which I have also done. And also um, there's a video that I've done on how you can score a band 8.5 on speaking test, on the speaking test course of I got that, that nice band. So in final decisions uh, made by Tuesday 1 June 2021. So that's the other information about um, the Johnson & Johnson Global Mental Health Scholarship. And then here now we're gonna um, go to what's next? What's next? We're gonna have the the London School of um, Hygiene and Tropical Medicine Fund scholarship. Um, so here, if you can check, um, it says one scholarship is available. So yes, it's only one that is available. They pay for your tuition fees and also your living allowance. There it is. And then um, 
eligibility, they say that you must be nationals and resident of low income countries. So um, if we click there on low income countries, um, it will be able to, to, to show us um, what is, is it that is expected. And then, so these are the low and middle income countries. So you can even check here. Uh, for me, South Africa is here. I also see Uganda. I also see Egypt and Colombia. I also see Azerbaijan. So, so these are the countries um, that will be funded. So there is only one scholarship for this one. So the application process is the same, guys. Closing date um, for the scholarship um, is 28 February 2021. So you should ensure that you first apply at the university for admission, and then um, you'll be able to 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 receive um, your 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 response. And then, so the MSCs are here is the same as those ones that you can also apply for. And then um, the other thing in terms of the supplementary form, you know, because they will, they even in the previous one, they spoke about a supplementary form wherein you need to um, give your, your motivation. So let's just open up this form and see what it has. Um, so there are supplementary questions here for the MSc program that you want to study. For example, in the section below, please identify and briefly describe up to three study life career achievements that make you a suitable candidate. So you need to, to explain yourself. Please outline your background and experience in the project in it, in, to enhance public health. So, so you, you are going to speak about what you are gonna bring into the whole program and also the mental, the, the health, um, um program in in general and why have you chosen the study in particular msc program why you chose it so there are word limits here so you explain why you chose it please make sure that you don't uh, exceed the expected word limit and here the last one described below upon completion of your msc you intend to use your newly acquired training and skills in your career in public and global health and or health later research in a low middle income country so so that's what you are gonna need to do right and then so getting back and so that's the, the 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 gist of this um fund and then um which one have we not touched um the jerome yes i think the jerome we have not um touched on it and then so um the jerome and sync memorial fund um it's in honor of this man um dr jerome um, H.J. Nsik, who passed away in 2015, December 29th. So there's also one scholarship available also for here. It also covers your full-time overseas tuition fees in the UK, your flights from your resident country, um, your tax-free stipend of such pounds. You can convert it to your own countries to just to see how much that is equivalent to. And then in terms of availability, you should have been accepted into the MSc uh, public health for development, and you should have demonstrated your commitment to water sanitation and hygiene is tackled wash. So you should be able to show such a commitment in terms of what you are currently doing in your country. If you are working, you'll be able to demonstrate that. If you are volunteering, you should also be able to demonstrate that and be a citizen of one of the following sub-Saharan African or South Asian countries. We spoke about it, your Afghanistan, your Angola, your Bangladesh, Benin, Botswana, Bhutan, Burkina Faso, Democratic Republic of Congo, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, India, Rwanda, South Sudan, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Swaziland. So, so you should be from these countries. And then um, you should also meet your English language proficiency requirements. Because normally the universities will need, will, will inform you in terms of um, the test score that they need. Um, and then you see here, this is which test scores are accepted or are required. Um, so for your MSc program. So normally they will, it's gonna be um, your, okay, this one of the master's program. However, um, oh yes, yeah, here we are. You accepted English language um, 
they are saying that you see your eyelids is the one that have returned international english language system, system the cambridge advanced english deities your cambridge english proficiency cpe your person pte academic your tearfall um internet based test not acceptable because requiring a student visa so so these are the things that you need to know the band that they need it's which band and band b you know that so that's what you 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 need to know and how you should <clears throat> go about in terms of applying for these um scholarships um so that's more like it guys so those are the scholarships that you're gonna need um to apply to and then i just wish you the best um in your application and then um they're still open as, as you can see and then so what you need to do is just to make that application as soon as now so that the sooner you apply the better and then um the last part on terms of the the these scholarships um at the universities yeah, there's where they're going to talk to you about the issue of the fund um the application fee rather sorry the application fee of 50 um great british pound where you need to pay in order for them to process your application which is equivalent in South African brands to 1,000 South African brands. And then it is also advised that once you are accepted for the MSc programs, and then you have to, um, to pay a certain fee um, to secure your spot. Um, they say that if you have applied for these scholarships, you can um, write to the admission office to indicating that you are still, still um, waiting for the outcomes of the scholarship results and then you indicate when are they um you are expecting to hear from them at least by by indicating such they'll be able to um postpone your 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 fee payment yes so so yeah so that's that's more like it that's more like it All right um so i hope that information was very much helpful to you and that you are going to make that scholarship application as soon as now right now so all the best in your application and we're going to talk very soon ciao ciao bye